Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about understanding things under the hood. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, as a software engineer in a top tech company when all underlying infrastructure is black is black box and all that you do is focus on your code, would you still try to understand how things work under the hood? Yes, uh, I I would uh, because otherwise I'm never gonna get to. Or you're, it's uh, unlikely that you're gonna become an industry expert. So uh, I'm not gonna say that it's unlikely that you're gonna become a senior or you're gonna become a principal or staff engineer or whatever we call them, like a architect or something like that. But uh, the the thing is that. Uh, the you see a lot of this and you see that there is a, you, usually the thing that happens is that in some companies guys they will give you a title but that title doesn't actually mean anything it's sort of like currency if that makes sense some countries are richer and some countries are poorer and their currency might represent the like it, it, it's not worth as much in a different context if that makes sense and so if you're a, let's like just pretend like you, let's say that you're a, if you're a senior, like a, if we now assume that you are really good at what you do, if you're a staff and you're a principal engineer or someone who's really, really like experienced in a high-end tech company, then the odds are that you are better at uh, the entire, like uh, most of the things that you are doing than someone who's working as a freelancer who got that title, or not the freelancer, but like someone who works at a company who like doesn't really know what they're saying, like they're just giving you this title because in their company this is the title that they have to promote you, but the work that you are doing is at a much lower end, if that makes sense, so you're like the, you're the most experienced person or like the most knowledgeable person in a in an environment that is less advanced than another environment, if that makes sense. And what happens in those situations, and I see this all the time, is that these people who get like they call themselves seniors or they call themselves this and that and so forth, then they apply for a job somewhere else. And usually, like, uh, it comes down to if they go to another company, does that company actually know what true t or what real skill looks like? Some, of, a lot of them don't. Like, a lot of the this is sort of the the problem of the industry where you can actually make a fairly good living on being a subpar software developer because the as long as you can sort of pass the code in, in the coding uh, interview and like whatever you might be doing it I mean at the manager level it's almost hilarious uh, I've been in interviews with managers who are like these people don't know anything about anything they still get the job because management is like I mean for some reason going to hire them anyway uh, there are absolutely cases like that and they, they happen more than you might think uh, but if if you want to be confident in that you can go to basically any company and be viewed as at the very least as the thing that you are claiming that you are then you will need to know this stuff the, you, it's the, it's this in-depth knowledge that that makes you an expert. It's this understanding how things actually work that makes you uh, top-notch or like the rock star developer or whatever you might want to call them. It, this is the, this is the sort of thing that is the determining factor for like the top, top, top software developers, and like if literally everybody else practically. Because the like uh, the more you understand how things are working like this, like things are black boxed and so forth, that's a, that's like a nothing argument. They're already there. You're sort of indicating that you haven't reached the levels that you would need to reach in order to actually see where your sort of in-depth knowledge is the most determining factor in people think uh, like evaluating whether or not you are worth this sort of money. Because the higher up you get, the more demands are going to be put on you, and the more you will have to know. And this is why I tell like the front end developers, etc., like all these different people who talk to me about like what you should know as a front end developer or a back end developer or so forth. And I go, all of that goes out the window when you get to a, a sufficiently high degree 
uh, of responsibility within software development. So at my level, as an example, I have to know everything. And when I say everything, I do mean everything. There is the only thing my specific company does not leverage is, uh, I think, AI and machine learning at this point. I have to know, okay, in order to, for me to be effective at the thing that I do, if I want to do more things than only program, like at the product level, only focus on, like, you know, the basics of the, I'm not saying, because even the seniors that I'm working with, guys, the seniors are working on regular old story cards, they're only working with, uh, like, uh, you know, they ship uh, product features, etc., etc., but when you get to uh, when you, you when if you want to go higher than that and you want to get like take on an even greater level of responsibilities where like the products that you are handed or like the things that you are doing are like I'm not gonna say too much about it but this, this is the sort of work that the people who invented uh, Kubernetes did or the people who invented React did like etc so the way like the company is like so is in need of ta of uh, a set of skills where you're basically setting the work framework for the entire company. You're not just working in a team. You're working on like the thing that uh, that like everything from standard libraries to like streamlining entire work processes for multiple teams, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then you have to know this sort of stuff. There is like no, there is no uh, nothing to uh, to question here, because the the reality is that when you're involved at that level you will realize the thing that I sort of am trying to make people understand when I tell them that it's not enough to just say that you're just going to focus on the UI because it's it's similar to in a sense to manufacturing or something like that where uh, you might know a, if you just know front end or you just know back end if we just take it for in the simple case you know then you only know a piece of all the things that are going on but then you have things like operations you have things uh, like different sorts of services you have like uh, f like um, metrics uh, you have sre things devops things you have like delivery pipelines you have workflows you have uh, uh, prior like, uh, like uh, product management etc etc there are all of these factors that make up the entirety of how we deliver software in it and if you want to be involved, at, as I said, if you want to be considered like one of the top notch sort of developers, which you where basically the only thing that you the, the only thing a sensible company gives you is these sorts of tasks, because this is the sort of stuff that, as I said, this is what Google and like the like mainstream IT companies, this is what they actually have done. Like apart from having a really uh, great products, this is what they do in order to keep themselves competitive. That efficient, like basically creating efficiency within the entire ecosystem of the IT company, that requires you to know all the things that your stack is involving, and that is usually a lot more than quote unquote just the stuff that the front enders are doing or just the stuff the back enders are doing. It's much broader than that. It's everything from standardizing APIs to standardizing workflows to setting up delivery pipelines to uh, like do doing the coding in like creating products or automated system like it it really involves all of it it's the it's the sort of work that you only can do if you're a full stack developer or something like that and it's not just being quote unquote a full stack developer that matters here it has to do as well with i mean in my situations i need to know to, I, I need to work with both azure and ABS because we have a, 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 a multi-cloud solution, so I need to know, know like the setup in both, and then I need to know how to work with all the different services in those two d different uh, like uh, how everything works on both of those two platforms, on, on on top of everything else, and then you have like libraries or so like internal systems, internal tools, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which brings us to the domain knowledge thing that I've told you guys about, which is another part of the thing that I have to figure out if I want to be able to work at this level, and this is the problem uh, I will argue to the, that the vast majority of IT is facing, where the requirements on your knowledge in order to really really make a IT company very effective or like to help out with this sort of work is sky high it's the highest there is like there to me at the very least because that you you cannot do this if you're just a front end developer or you don't understand how like things actually work uh, under the hood because this uh, like this black box thing 
it's just a black box because you haven't had the time to actually look into it and see how it works but you know, often if you do like the, the abstractions that we create you don't need to know this sort of stuff at the I mean as I, I've said this to you guys before some people have web developers ask me about like C or like low level program lower level programming languages and I, I tell them like you don't really need to know that sort of stuff if you only work in JavaScript for example but uh, there, if you want to work at the system level that might be something you have to look into so it really comes down to like at what level do you want to be involved because you really do need to know what's in the black box if so to speak if you want to be involved with the sort of stuff that gets impacted in uh, at, at that level but if you all you want to do is just do the standard stuff that most of us are doing well then it might not mean so much for you because you're going to have teams of people like operations is a classic one you may not have to be a devops engineer to work in like on most of your products because you have people who do that for you but me i have to know it on top of all the other stuff that i have to know because i'm going to help out with that stuff if that makes sense so what i want you to take away from this is that uh, well, uh, it is good for you. I mean, if you if your ambition as a software engineer is to reach quote unquote the highest levels or whatever, like it doesn't matter if it's in system engineering, uh, system levels programming, or like whatever. I mean, I I mean I don't know everything, guys. If we talk, if like when I was saying, like I have to know all the things, then it's that's in web. I don't even like. I mean, then we're not even talking about all the like because IT is so huge, guys. There's like a hundred million things I don't know. Most likely more about the, like uh, of, like operating uh, programming for operating systems kernels or like building that like these lower level uh, programming thing concepts i don't know that not at all and it's the same thing with like learning uh, other a lot of other stuff within the web space though everything that is involved in delivering the web stuff if you want to be involved in all that stuff which you can be which is that uh, that's when you get to be like the at the higher levels of any company basically then you will have to have a fairly good understanding of a range of different things because web is huge uh, there's so many things that you will have to be good at or like sort of understand in order to do that but it's not really necessary for you to figure out all this stuff especially I mean if you're a junior software developer then you know then just focus on learning how to code and deliver within the bounds of what you're supposed to be doing but if your ambition is to like do all that stuff then you at sooner or later yes you're gonna have to look into quite a lot of things but you don't I don't think you have to worry so much about it guys I mean it's not like I am some type of like that I just knew all this stuff it takes a long time to learn it it's just that you have to keep on learning and then when you get good at one thing like front end or back end or something like that you have to diversify a little bit have a healthy range of interests and then sort of keep on learning because you mean the more you learn the less of a black box things are going to look to you uh, look 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 like and at the end of the day code is just code like all of these sorts of things you can figure them out it's just a matter of time uh, and effort to to learn all of these things have a great day